President George Bush addresses the nation with an outline of his national drug policy. Good evening. This, this is crack seized a few days ago from the White House. Let there be no mistake, this stuff is candy. In 1985, the government estimated that 23 Americans were using drugs on a current basis, that is, at least once in the preceding month. Last year, that number fell by more than a third. That means almost nine fewer Americans are casual drug users. It breaks my heart. Teamwork will. Tonight, I'm announcing a strategy that reflects the coordinated, cooperative commitment of drug production, or drug smuggling, or drug demand. This problem is as comprehensive as the plan. With this strategy, we now finally have stories about drug dealers who are caught and arrested again and again, but never punished. Well, if you sell drugs, you will be caught, and when you're caught, you will never be punished. Well, our 1990-90 drug budget totals almost eight, the largest increase in history. We can pay for the drugs with raising taxes, adding to the budget deficit. Let's face it, we've all seen in the past that money alone solves our toughest problems. And for every employer who bans drugs from the workplace, the death penalty. And when asked about his future, six-year-old Dooney answers, I want to sell drugs, but I'll probably have to. Well, Dooney has to sell drugs. The Democratic Party's response to the president's speech. We don't oppose the president's plan. All we want to do is oppose the president's plan. We don't doubt his resolve. All we want to do is oppose the president's plan. I know it's hard to believe, but this very day, violent drug offenders will commit more than one crime on this day alone. And the sad part is that we have, we have no more police. That's why we think the president should try drugs. That's the kind of drug I want. That's the kind of drug you deserve. And there's no reason we can't have it. Thank you. Yeah.